Alright, hey, what's up everybody? GratuitousSpeechStruggles.com and in this video, I want to be introducing you guys to SEND. So, um, what are SENDs, how can they benefit you, and how do you use them? So, when I first started up, um, you know, I always looked at them, I always kind of wondered what they did, but, um, you know, I just, I, I never used them. So, um, what a SEND allows you to do is pretty much use one plugin instead of using like 10 plugins. So, for example, like you can use one delay for all my 11 sounds here instead of like having 11 separate delay plugins which can be um, like computer hungry so which means like it could like um, slow down your computer because it's like making your computer work really hard now you also don't have tons of plugins to work with now I only have one plugin to work with rather than um, let's say 11 delay plugins that I have to adjust each individually you know that could be really tedious work and then another really cool thing about um, using sends is like what it is doing is it's pretty much sending a separate signal so it's like you have your original audio signal but then you have a wet signal and you can blend in that wet signal however much you want so it's pretty much you, you have like parallel audio signals and you know you could do like parallel compression this way um, you know there's tons of videos on YouTube about it but um, I'm just gonna show you how you can use these sends to your advantage um, and really make your mixing process or even like your creative beat making process um, a lot quicker and um, you know it's not as hard on your computer so Right now, this is like um, the loop I am using. All right, so these are sounds from uh, the Urban Heat Kit. Um, this is by Exclusive Audio. You guys can watch this video right here. I, did, I recently did a review on their kit. I gave it five out of five. The kit is really, really nice kit. So you guys can watch that review. But um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take all these sounds and I'm gonna put them on their own mixer track. All right, so if we listen, nothing's changed. Um, they're all just on their own mixer track. All right, so it's just um, a little percussion loop. Um, I guess it's pretty dry, I guess you could say, you know, everything just has its one hit sound, but nothing else is going on after that. There's no reverb, there's no delay or anything. So um, how you go about um, connecting these to your sends is so right now, all of these, if you look down here, um, all of them are going to your master. Okay, so all these 11 sounds, you know, they're all going to the master. Now, if we look over here to our sends, they're all turned down, okay? I want all of these sounds to be affected by this delay and by this reverb. So what you have to do is you just come here. Now this one, I'm going to reset and reset, and then I'm gonna do this for all of them, okay? So so let's say one of these, there's a little too much reverb on one of them or something, there's too much delay. All you have to do is just dial back this individual one or something like that, and now you're not feeding as much of this sound into the delay as all the other ones okay so I'm gonna reset that just so everything is going in full and now what happens is on my delay again I have no dry audio signal so my original audio signal is not being affected at all so if the sound plays um, we're gonna hear lots of delay and lots of reverb okay And now the cool thing is we can affect the wet signal, so like the delay or the reverb, by adding like an EQ on here. And then, um, you know, it won't affect the original sound because if we put a delay on this sound and then we try to EQ it, um, what's going to happen is it's going to affect the original signal and it's going to affect the, the wet delayed signal, whereas now these can play normally, but now we can affect the delay signal without even touching the original audio, okay? So I'll show you guys some kind of cool things you can do. Right now, I'm going to uh, play around with the delay EQ. So remember, the original audio is not being touched. It's playing normal. Now I can mix in however much delay, and then I can kind of tweak it.
right now I'm going to do the same thing for uh, the reverb and you don't have to use reverb you can use like chorus uh, phaser all right so again dry dries off and here we go here is the reverb All right, so I haven't touched any of these at all. You know, they're just playing normally, and then I'm blending in some kind of cool effects to kind of uh, make it maybe not so dry because, you know, we listen again. We listen to it with the delay. All right, so I'm Gratuitous. This is BeatStruggles.com. I hope this video has helped you out. Um, if you guys want to stay up to date with me here at Beat Struggles, you guys can sign up to the Beat Struggles newsletter. I keep you guys up to date on tutorials, videos, um, you know, new posts. You guys can also stay up to date with the Beat Struggles Sound Pack Flyer, so you guys can watch this video right here. Just an awesome way for you guys to save money on quality kits. And um, yeah, so this is Sense. It doesn't affect your original audio signal, but you can kind of blend in a wet signal. Remember, no dry, um, because the dry is the original audio signal. You just want the wet. And now you can just kind of blend in the wet signal with the um, dry signal. You know, be creative, throw whatever you want on the Sense. Again, I'm Gratuitous. This is BeatStruggles.com, and thank you for watching. <laughs>